what do you think of our team? I think the crack, the crack is crack. totally 90. 90. <laughs> After four weeks in Calcutta, as a team we've been struck by the differences in extreme wealth and extreme poverty in the city. Okay, so this is Bali Gunj, probably one of the poshest areas in India. From our experience in Calcutta thus far, we've seen a vast difference in housing and shelter between the rich and the poor. We live on Ballygun Circular Road where all the buildings are secure with AC and 24 hour security, even some resembling mansions. When you compare it to the areas in which we are teaching, such as Narkaldanga, people's homes consist of much less. The auto speeds uphill towards Narkaldanga and Abadisha, lining the street are stalls from which hawkers sell for their living, perpendicular to here, where the auto drops us. A long street runs lined with wood, plastic and corrugated iron huts for more than a kilometre. These huts are working and living space for refuse recyclers, scores of families living and working in terrible conditions, sorting rubbish on the banks of the river. We have been working with Bikram Sheila in Nabadishas, set up as education resource centres for first generation learners. The children we work with attend government schools, which from our global perspectives discussions we understand are not adequately resourced and insufficiently staffed. From working with these children, we have noted other educational issues, such as rote learning, a lack of emphasis on comprehension and critical thinking, and textbooks not being adequately matched to the child's level. Children from wealthy families can afford to attend private schools and many even have private tutors to support their learning. The teachers we are working with in the Nabadishas aim to provide an educational support system to enable the children to reach and surpass the requirements of government schools and hopefully to inspire them to continue an education and vocational training.
transport is one of our favorite things about India. It is total chaos. From jumping onto packed moving buses, squeezing into nifty autos and hanging out of open door trains, we've loved every minute of it. We've often seen families of up to five traveling on one motorbike. Depending on your budget, there are many different modes of transport available. The basic task of commuting to work is a fine example of differentiating between the rich and the poor. The ordinary person traveling to work on a packed city bus, stuck in traffic, versus a wealthy person in a chauffeur-driven, air-conditioned car having breakfast. Other modes of transport include cold and pedal rickshaws, autos, taxis, trams, trains, and the metro. We love them all. Fact. One of the most striking contrasts of wealthy and poor was simply doing shopping in places like Quest and South City. The clientele, the shops and whole dynamic of these centres seemed out of touch with the reality outside. They are high-end and highly westernised. They have little relevance to the lives of many people in Calcutta who struggle to make ends meet in the most basic terms of survival. In contrast, the markets are busting with life, whereas the shopping centres have more workers than customers. Almost fancier than the Hill Valley. Even the lift smelled delicious. Mm -hmm.